here even showing that they are walking red flag and you just running towards it. You playing yourself. You doing dirty to yourself. You the co-creator of the foolishness. So let's take accountability there. Okay? Once I started taking accountability for myself, I opened my third eye. I have never gotten played. I have never gotten my heart broke. I be dodging the suckers. I'm sucker free. I am sucker free. A sucker can't even get near me. I be dodging that. Absolutely not. So we do it to ourselves. We be walking towards the red flag. You got to dodge the bullet. You got to learn your lesson the first time. Don't play with these fools. They out here even showing that they are walking red flag and you just running towards it. You playing yourself. You doing dirty to yourself. You the co-creator of the foolishness. So let's take accountability there. Okay, once I started taking accountability for myself, I opened my third eye. I have never gotten played. I have never gotten my heart broke. I be dodging the suckers. I'm sucker free. All right. So first and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukahakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom, a Shalom to you, Akim, Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf, and Shalom to the 144,000. Quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shibya Abishai. You know, it's your brother DeBar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Shaw in North Carolina camp with a quick lesson to edify through the Rakag Wadash and your high desire somebody will be, you know, will learn something through this lesson here, man. So, you know, I keep hearing individuals, right, talking about this sucker free. You know, I'm I'm so sucker free. I'm so you know, I I got people in my family that even say that, man. All right, but I'm starting to hear it a lot more. You know, and if you brothers and a few sisters have heard that, you know, you should really look up what that means, right? Because you hear, you know, and, and if you notice, two third of our people, they the ones that use this terminology, sucker free, right? Now I ran across this video here, this Eve, right? And she was speaking, and it sounds like, you know, she, you know, how do how do women do on these, you know, on, on these platforms? You know, they talk about men and. All of that, you know, and, you know, the name of the video is called, I guess, you know, how to stay sucker free for life. Right. And, you know, this person here doesn't even, you know, matter of fact, let me see here. I want to look something up here. So I just looked into it just a little bit and it says free from a fool. You see that? And so in the cells uh, spelled sucker free um, is a noun which is used right to reference avoiding right lames or a fool also known as a sucker henceforth sucker free so sucker free means free from a fool you see that so in all actuality right we avoid lames and fools you see that and a lot of these people out here are what man they're fools you see and you know what the scriptures say about you know uh, a foolish woman Right, she is simple and knoweth nothing. You see that? So, you know, I, you know, ran across this video. I was like, you know what? Let me look this up, man. Right. So that's what sucker free means, free from a fool. And and again, brothers, a lot of these people out here, they're foolish, man. So we're really the ones that sucker free. You see that? Because we avoid and dodge, right? These individuals that are out here, man. Hey, good morning. You know, we uh, avoid and dodge these individuals, lames and fools and bug outs. You see, it's, it's, you know, these are people that we call bug out. So what I did here was, uh, I looked up, uh, you know, fools. And it says, uh, I'm going to read this one, Proverbs 1 and 7. And it reads, the fear of the Lord, right, is the beginning of knowledge. That's right. So us brothers, we fear the Lord. And even a few sisters, man, right? And it says, but fools, right, despise wisdom and instruction you see that so by her not even having any wisdom and instruction that makes her what a fool you see that and you know not just talking about her but there's a lot of men 
right? They, you know, write songs called Sucker Free, and they suckers, but they're fools. You see, so we're the real ones that sucker free. They out here even showing that they are walking red flag, and you just run. And you a walking red flag too, brothers. This is a walking red flag. Yeah, look at her eyes through. Walking red flag. Got the Shiva Jatas, you know. Yeah, man. When the scripture says you women supposed to be quiet. You see, the scriptures talk about a, a silent and loving woman. You know, but not this one here, right? Towards it, you playing yourself. You're doing dirty to yourself. You're the co-creator of the foolishness. So let's take accountability there. And you women, you guys ought to be, and you know, <laughs> and she all about got the audacity to all about accountability. You women don't take account accountability for anything, for nothing. Don't get me started, Jake. Right, but anyway. Okay, once I started taking accountability for myself, I opened my third eye. I have never gotten played. And you know what? A third eye, right, is called the pineal gland. You see that? A lot of people, they don't know that. You know, they just think, you know, it's just an imaginary eye in between your forehead. All right? You know, and a lot of you people, your pineal glands are calcified because you ran down here and took Esau's Kool-Aid. You see that? You opened up and said, ah, right? Like how this woman here got her mouth wide, you see? You know, so a lot of people, you know, they claim my third eye is open, brother. I know it and don't know anything. You see? So that makes them what? Fools. I have never got my heart broke. I be dodging the suckers. I'm sucker free. Yeah, I'm sucker free, right? But you a fool. And again, two third of our people, they don't, you know, you know, they're fools, man. Proverbs 29, <coughs> 11. A fool, right, out of all his mind, right? Just like how you saw that woman doing. But a wise man keepeth it in, sorry, keepeth it in till afterwards. That's right. And these people, they just say whatever the hell they want to say. You got fools, come on the comment board, right? Be trying to scoff and be misspelling shit. Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. Be not hasty in the spirit to be angry, for anger resteth upon the bosom of fools. That's right. And, 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 you, and you see these people out here, man. All right? You know, Jake be getting locked the hell up and, you know, be killing each other, right? Because they're, you know, they're angry, man. You know? So, you know, I mean, scriptures talk about, you know, how this place here is, is, is waxing worse. Let me see. Uh... Proverbs 10, 14. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of, of fools is near destruction. You see that? Yeah, man. You know, I'm not going to read no more of these. Let me see here. I'm sucker. No, we're sucker free. We avoid you individuals. Proverbs 1 and uh, you know what? James 1 and 26. It reads, if any man among you seem to be religious... And bridle of not his tongue. That's right. You, you, yeah, whoo, whoo. But the seeds of his own heart, this man's religion is vain. That's right. And you, you know, you Christians out there, you, oh my goodness. Right? 1 Corinthians 2, 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit. Why? Because he's a fool. Of the most high. For they are foolishness. I just said that. Unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned, making them a what? A reprobate. You see, so a lot of you people out there, you guys are fools. But you're sucker free. <laughs> oh, I be dodging. When this person right here is the sucker. I be dodging, man. Right? <laughs> In the suckers. I'm sucker free. I'm sucker. I am sucker free. Yeah, so you individuals out there, you guys better start looking up words. Right, and again, you know, that was just, a, you know, I I didn't dig too deep in that. Let's read this here since I mentioned it. Proverbs 9, 13. A foolish, right? Just like that person there. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. You see that? Proverbs 14, 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man. That's right. That's why we don't deal with you individuals, man, because you're foolish. Right? Making us what? Sucker free. When thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. That's right. And a lot of these people out here, brothers and sisters, they don't have knowledge. All right? Don't be out there arguing with Jake. <laughs> right? This is pointless. See? I am sucker free. A sucker can't even get near me. I be dodging that. <laughs> Absolutely not. So 
we do it to ourselves. We be walking towards the red flag. You got to... Yeah, you oh yeah, and this is a red flag here, man. And she's walking towards the red, all the red flags right here, man. Right? We don't care how you women look, you right? We don't care how you look, man. How fat your ass is, how big your titties are, how much money you got, how smart you think you are, right? If you don't, if you're not seeking the Lord, your how about shit, I was shy. You are a fool. You see that? You know, and that's the spirit, you know, and you, all these warnings are going up for you individuals, man. You know, let me see what else I got here. Ready to shut it down. All right. Because again, you know, going back to the uh, the definition of sucker free. Right. It says it's a noun which is used to reference avoiding lames or fool, also known as a sucker. That's right. So we, right, we're sucker free. <laughs> All right, we avoid you lames, right? And it says avoid them, right? Let's see what scripture says about avoiding. Romans 16, 17. Now I beseech you, it's like, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which he have learned and avoid them. That's right. And you guys walk contrary, right? You guys cause divisions and offenses, man. Right? You guys be going off in the doctrine, adding and taking away from the scriptures. You know, the women don't got to be quiet. Going off. Right? We free from the law now. We can eat shrimp, pork, crabs, and lobsters. Right? A woman can lay down with as many men as she wants to, right? Until the Lord start uh, uh, putting you women to death in mass numbers. You see? So, you know, just want to do this lesson here. You know, people, I'm stuck a day. I ain't sucker free from nothing. Because you the sucker, man. And we avoid you individuals. Titus 3 and 9. But avoid, right, foolish questions. You see that? Who brings foolish questions? Two thirds. And we do what? Avoid them. And genealogies and contentions, network contentions goes back into arguments, man. Matter of fact, let me look it up real quick. Because, you know, Jake, you got to prove that. Scripture say prove all things. True. All right? Contention. Contention. Heated disagreement. What the hell does a heated disagreement mean? You see that? So, you know, this is what contentions mean. So it says, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions. You see that? And strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. You see that? So we avoid you fools. You know, because a lot of you, a lot of you people out there are fools, man. Come on the comment board. You know, just, yeah, yeah. Bugging out, walking up to the camp, right? But you talk about some you sucker free when you are the sucker, sucker. <laughs> so brothers, we're the ones that sucker free, you know, in all actuality, you know. So when you hear people, you hear fools talk about some they sucker free, again, they're the, they're the real suckers, you see? Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. It's real to the next time I say, Shalom. So I open my third eye. I have never gotten played. I have never gotten my heart broke. I be dodging the suckers. I'm sucker free.